Next is another example how we can find the two complement number. Okay, first example, find two complement number for positive 30 and negative 30. Okay, for positive 30, okay, you need to find the magnitude of positive 30. So, magnitude of positive 30 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And then, you need to attach sign bit 0 because the number is positive. So, that's why your last answer will be 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. That is for positive 30. For the second uh, value is negative 30. So, you must remember the step for uh, converting the negative value. So, there are some steps. Okay. So, this is the last answer. Okay. So, your last answer will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then, this is the step. Okay. So, first step, okay, you need to find positive 30. So, positive 30 in uh, two complement is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Second, you find the first complement. First complement is actually you need to complement each bit from the first step. So you will get 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And the third step, okay, you need to add 1 to the first complement. So you will get your answer is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the step how we can convert positive 30 and negative 30 by using two complement. You must remember only negative number you can use this step. Okay, this three step. For positive number, you just follow the same method as sign magnitude number. You just find the magnitude and then attach zero. Second example show how an 8-bit computer will represent a two complement number for positive 30 and negative 30. In this question, uh, it asks you to convert okay, by using certain bit, okay, by certain value of bit. Okay. So, how you can convert the number, these two number, using 8 bit, meaning that your answer must be 8 bit. Okay. First, you need to find positive 30. Okay. So, the two complement for positive 30 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, this is the sign bit. And then, another 7 bit is actually referring to the magnitude. Okay. For second uh, question, which is negative 30, so this is your answer. Okay. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And this is the step how you can get this answer. So actually we are using the, the same step from previous except for this question your, your value must be in 8 bit. Okay. So first step, okay, you need to find the binary representation of positive 30. So you have to make sure your first step also must using 8 bit. So that this is actually the common mistake Okay, for uh, the first step, okay, some of the students uh, do not use the bit okay, that required in the question. Okay. So you must start using the bit okay, from your first step. If your question asks you to use 8 bit, you have to make sure your first step also using 8 bit. Okay. So that is the most important thing okay, for this uh, question. Okay, after you get your positive 30, second step, you complement each bit. Okay, you complement each bit, so you will get this value. And your last step, okay, you need to add 1 to the first complement. Okay, so your answer will be okay, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is your, your answer that equal to this one. So in this example, uh, the most important thing that uh, you need to remember is actually for your first step. Yeah, so you must uh, show the bit okay, based on the requirement in your question. So if your question asks you to 
to use 8 bit so your first step also must use 8 bit because some students they they put uh, 8 bits or they have to they, they make sure the 8 bits only for the last step okay not from the starting uh, step okay or the starting of the your method so that is totally wrong eh? so you must start your step yeah uh, by converting using the 8 bit Okay, next is example 3. For example 1 and 2, uh, I explain how we can convert uh, from uh, decimal to 2 complement number. For example 3 is actually conversion from 2 complement number to decimal number. Okay, so you look at uh, first uh, example which is A. So how you can convert from 2 complement to decimal number? The okay, first thing is actually you need to uh, look at the first bit okay, of the question. Okay, based on A question, the first bit is bit 0. Okay? So, first bit is bit 0. So, because the first bit is, is, uh, is 0, it's actually, uh, it shows that uh, this number is actually the positive number. So, because the number is positive number, so there are uh, no steps that we we need to show uh, to convert to the decimal. We just uh, use the straightforward method. Okay. So the straightforward method is actually you just uh, convert okay, the value. Okay, so this value is straightforward to the decimal value. So you will get positive 34. Okay, positive 34. Okay, you, the conversion you can use the calculator. So that is the first question, which is the first bit is zero. So you look at the second uh, question B. So for the second question, the first bit is bit one. Okay. So when your first bit is bit one, it means that uh, the number is negative number. So because the number is negative number, so there are a certain step that you need to show be before you will get the uh, last answer or the results. Okay. So this is the uh, method how you can get the value. Okay. The first method is actually you need to complement each bit and then you add one to the complement value <coughs> and the last one you convert okay, the complement value after you add one to negative number by using calculator which is you get 94 and then don't forget to add sign negative okay. so this is how you uh, convert the two complement to decimal number for negative value okay first bit okay you complement each bit okay. second you add okay two one yeah. And then uh, lastly, after you get the value, so this value must be converted to decimal. So you just using your calculator, so you will get 94. And then don't forget to add negative sign. Okay. So uh, the first one is actually your question. So this is the question. Okay. So this is the step. Okay, how you can convert from two complement number to decimal number okay complement is bit okay you add one okay, to the first complement and then uh, you get the binary and uh, you convert to decimal and add negative sign okay so you must remember the step so for this kind of question uh, the common mistake that student uh, did is actually forgot to uh, put the negative sign okay maybe the student is forgot or the student uh, a bit confused okay because um, uh, they think that they uh, should not put negative sign because of the last answer okay so if you refer your your last answer here okay so it's the last answer okay, after you perform the addition the first bit is zero when your first bit is zero so you will put only 94 without put sign negative. So that is actually totally wrong. You must refer okay, the value okay, based on the question. Okay, you must refer based on the question. 
here which is the first bit is 1. Again, not referring to the binary for the last uh, step. Okay. So that's why uh, the sign bit is important okay, for this kind of question. For the last question, also a negative number okay, because uh, your first bit is 1. So you just follow the, the same step. Yeah, negative, so you need to complement. And then you need to add 1. And lastly, you convert to binary. Okay. So you complement each bit. Okay, when you complement, you will get all 0. Okay, second step, you add 1. Okay, add 1. And last step, you will get the binary. So based on the binary, you find the uh, decimal number. And then attach sign negative. So that is how uh, you convert okay, from two complement number to uh, decimal number. Okay. So the number of bits okay, available in the computer arithmetic unit can okay, limit the range of number that can be represented in the machine. Okay. So uh, that's why number that fall outside the range cannot be handled by the system. Okay, meaning that you need to know the range of the number. Okay, so uh, the explanation that I explained to you for the first part of two complement number, you must remember the uh, this formula. Okay, determining the uh, range of the two complement number. Okay? Because uh, if the operation produce a result that fall outside the available of range, then an overflow occurs. Okay, meaning that if you not follow the range of bit, you will get the wrong result. Okay, you will get the incorrect results. Okay, maybe in in this first part, uh, the the wrong result uh, maybe is just uh, minimal uh, cases. Okay, but when we go for the next part, which is the arithmetic uh, process, so there will be a lot of uh, errors okay, when you uh, do not use the correct range. Okay. So this example showing you how you can determine the range okay, uh, for two complement number okay, that have a certain uh, number of bits. Okay, for example, if you have uh, 8 bits, so what is the range of decimal number that can you represent by using 8 bits? So, you just replace n which is 8 to the formula okay, and then you will get the result. So, by using 8 bit, the range is start from negative 128 until positive 127. Okay, for 16 bit, okay, so this is the range start from negative okay, 32768 until positive 32767. And lastly, this is the value for uh, n. 32 bit. So this is the range. So you must remember uh, the formula that uh, we need to use to determine the range. Okay, the range is actually referring to the value of decimal okay, that you can uh, represent okay, uh, followed by the bit okay, that uh, already that uh, equal to n value. Okay. So for example, if you refer to a it means that only this value, okay, negative 128 until positive 127, that can be represented or convert by using 8 bit. Okay, if you have a larger value than 127, okay, for example, if you want to convert the value of 200, so 200, when you convert to two complement number, you cannot use 8 bit. Okay, because 100 200 is outside of this range. Okay, so I hope you understand the concept of uh, range for two complement number and then how we can determine the range.